Nicholas Dietlef was one of the first security police officers implicated by both former colleagues and detainees when the inquest started five weeks ago. On Monday, he took the stand and told the court how he used to put detainees at ease while interrogating them. He said his line of questioning was specifically on finding out about communism, the ANC and terrorism. Dietlefs said he interviewed Agat on the 30th of January 1982 and Agat seemed relaxed as they spoke about general issues. He said the unionists expressed guilt that he had betrayed his fellow comrades by revealing information about them. I told uh, Lieutenant Whitehead that uh, the facts as he has told me that I am self knee uh, forgive. that he said he will not uh, forgive himself uh, due to the fact that he says he betrayed his uh, friend uh, Theron. Dietlef said that was the last time he was allowed to question Agat. Dietlef testified that he was instructed to lie about what happened to Agat in the 1982 inquest and that he was threatened by his superiors. This prompted a surprise response from the Agat family. My instructions are the following. And may instructions as the folgende. If you testify honestly, if you take this court into your confidence and testify honestly, as I here of niem tot i melo as I vertrouw en di en here of en i geteg correct. Then my instructions are from the Agat family. Then may instruct us as from the Agat family that where you are honest and where you assist this court to get to the truth, where he the pray the where it say and help the hope on to the where it to come, then they will not pursue a criminal prosecution against you. Elasalni. Uh, <coughs> a straf uh, rechtelike uh, tien i magni. The inquest continues. Hesina Gori, SABC News, Johannesburg.